Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Rebecca, Becky Bex, whatever you guys like to call me, and welcome to my new filming room. Yes, this currently is my bedroom because you can see the pillows a little bit in the background, but this is the best decision I made. Not only this room doesn't echo as much, but I can still do what I want to do, which is fantastic. I really, really like it. Also, as you guys know as well from my previous video that I mentioned about transitioning over from one room to another, I'm also playing around with some new features on my camera as well so if I'm going a little bit out of focus at times I do apologize and I finally got a new microphone hello everybody anyway in today's video while I was transitioning from one room to another I came across an eyeshadow palette which gosh I only think I played around with this palette once I think and I couldn't remember what I th my thoughts were about it. I couldn't remember if I liked it or I not liked it. I could have watched my video back then from all those years ago, but I just thought, no, I'm gonna surprise myself. So the palette I'm gonna be trying on again is the Linzai Beauty Pink Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. And not to mention it's got some really nice warm pink tones in it and it's very ideal, especially with Valentine's Day around the corner. So I thought it'd be really nice to retry this palette again and see what I think of it and create a really nice little Valentine's Day look with it. So if you guys are gonna enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn that notification bell so you get notified by all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you like, link is in the description bar below. So if you guys wanna see what kind of look I create using the Linzai Beauty Pink Goddess Eyeshadow Palette and what I actually thought about this palette because I can't remember, <laughs> Then just keep watching. Okay guys, like I said, if I do autofocus at times, I do apologize, I'm still trying to get used to these features. Okay, so the palette is gorgeous as I remember. It is really, really pretty. I think I might do something very pink, like very sort of simple and pink, but using a, a bit of glitter, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna just keep it simple for now. Just keep it simple because I've had to move so much over from one room to another, setting it all up again, testing features. So there's been a lot going on, a lot going on. I am first going to start with the darker pink. So I'm going to grab this color here. I've already primed my eyes. Just going to grab a look good, feel better brush. It's like a very nice fluffy angled brush. Going to grab the color here. So there's not a lot of fallout at all very pigmented I remember it being pigmented and I'm just going to pack this on the lid okay when I used this eyeshadow before it was a lot more pigmented I think it might have been I think I used the wrong brush I think because this is an angle fluffy brush I think I should have used a bit more of a firm brush to pack that color on but I remember also setting my lid many years ago when using that colour. So it could be one or the other. Because I do remember it being a lot more pigmented before. But I think I did use the wrong brush. But that's okay. I've still got a really, really nice colour payoff. It's really, really pink. Okay. Going to go with an angled BS fluffy brush. Just going to go in with an even lighter pink colour. Just going to go in with this one. And just going to grab it. Oh, this one's a bit more powdery than the other one. It's a bit more of a kickoff. And I'm just going to start blending that colour on top of the dark colour. Just really buffing it out. Okay, well those two colours pretty much look exactly the same. But I like it. It gives that nice... Well, there's no gradient, but I like that one colour eye look. I know that ch that trend was going on for quite a while. And, yeah, I quite like that. I like it. It's very sort of, not subtle pink, but that sort of neon pop of pink. I like it. I like it. I'm going to grab one of the glitters now, because I really want to try one of the glitters. I'm going to grab this one here. It's like a very sparkly, light pink colour. I think this would go well with the eyes. I'm just going to grab a little flat brush here, just a flat brush. I'm gonna gently press it all over the eye. Ooh, that's a pretty little bit of sparkle. 
this transforms the whole look i love this glitter now i know when i did that glitter eyeliner a few years ago i remember sweeping that eyeliner and it did make my eyeshadow go a little bit patchy but thank goodness falsies cover that up um, so the key with this glitter is to pat it do not sweep it otherwise you will just take all your eyeshadow off so i find that motion works really well and it's transformed my eyes i love this glitter i love it okay let's just add some more pink to this look i'm gonna grab the barry m high high vis water activated color eyeliner in high voltage and i'm just gonna grab a very old kiko brush this is the eyes 209 brush it's just like a little i don't know you guys can see it's just a very little tiny eyeliner brush it's very very small I start making an eyeliner with it so i'm gonna dip it in there Ooh, this is really pink Okay, I've added some hearts to the eyes as well, and I think they look super, super cute. I really like this. It's a very simple Valentine's Day, but a little pop of glitter. I really like this. I'm going to do the rest of my face makeup, and I will come back and finish off the eyes. And to finish these eyes off, I'm going to grab the darker purple here, which is this one right down the bottom. Just going to grab it on a flat brush. And I'm just going to apply this to the lower lash line. So just going to add a little bit of darkness underneath. And adding it to the waterline as well. Go back with the crease colour. Going to blend it underneath as well and of course we need a brow bone and inner corner highlighter so i'm going to grab this color right here the very light shimmery pink color just going to grab the same brush i'm a little bit lazy i'm just going to grab the same brush i use for my lower lash line and i'm going to apply that right in the inner corner wow that's blinding i love that apply a little bit here and apply a little bit under there and all I need to do now is add some mascara and then I'll let you guys know what I think about the palette hey guys so my flashback thoughts on the Lin's Eye Beauty Pink Goddess eyeshadow palette I think you guys pretty much know how I feel about this palette. I still think it's very good. I still think it's very pigmented. I still think it blends really nicely. Obviously, I, did, I didn't I did set my lid this time and I did use a different brush. So I did have to build the colour a little bit more. But the colour is still there. I just have to use a different brush next time. And sadly, if I grab my mirror, sadly the glitter is starting to crease a little bit on my lid um now it didn't crease i've had this eyeshadow this makeup on flight over like an hour and a half now about yeah about an hour and a half and it didn't crease as quickly as when i first used it when i did the eyeliner that creased a lot quicker because i was doing sweeping motions the fact i did patting motions it hasn't creased as quickly it's not noticeable from a far distance you wouldn't even notice it but I still like this palette and I'm very impressed with it. I've got so many palettes which I haven't used in the past. If you guys want to see me like trying on some palettes which I haven't used in years, let me know. And the packaging is very mesmerising, if you guys can see. It's still very mesmerising. Very similar to the Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and see me create a Valentine's Day look. If you have, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you get notified by my all my future videos. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you like. Link is in the description bar below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe. Hope you have a nice Valentine's Day. I know there's not a lot to do, but I hope you guys still have a nice one. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.